Hello everyone and welcome to my new video. There is a new week out there just starting out 27th of March. We're looking for some great details of the market. Scramble here from Emotion of Crypto Trading. Cardano is on the board for today. Let's get into the topic, folks. While well, the global crypto market cap is up by 0.19, increase over the last day, sitting on $1.16 trillion, quite an average for the past period, nothing special out of the way. It is just basically a very, very low 24 hours volume. We're coming across a weekend where the markets have not moved that much and it is a range at the top. So we need to discover that this is going to be a distribution or it is an accumulation of the retracement phase, which is ending in a continuation or the distribution will end in the stronger pullback. Depends on multiple factors is usually in the way the whole economical world is positioned and then the crypto space attached to it. So let's discover what's happening with Cardano, which is rank number seven, down with 2% for the past 24 hours, 1.93 up for the past seven days. Um, besides Ripple, it actually sits the best out of the top 10 and this is encouraging. Cardano had some great movements in the past. Meanwhile, BTC didn't move. So it is always a compensation behind that. There's been great news around it and things got to be visualized from that standpoint as well. Now, before we get into the technicals, you would definitely enjoy discovering my main YouTube channel where I talk about AI trading with ChatGPT bot. For those of you interested, we have a bot that is functioning with day trades and swing trades. We have live trades on my main channel and you can find the link to my main channel in the description area and comments area of this video. So feel free to take a look at it. We have all sorts of videos where we have made profits and I'm sharing with you. At the same time, we have our trading performance report for our bot trading movement generated with ChatGPT where you can discover more about our trading performance based on the weekly field, as well how does it work and how you can participate. Well, actually, there's two options you can participate. Option number one is based on no prior fee, only commission from pure profits achieved, where we perform the trading for you through API permission. Option number two is based on a monthly fixed fee, where you execute the signals and handle the complete process. So these are the two options you can basically drop us a message or complete the form the link is right here on the bottom right corner where you can find out more details and join at the same time we have a one-on-one -on -one coaching for those of you which are looking to become serious traders or transform this activity into a beneficial one financially speaking however i can talk about these things in details at the end now let's get into cardano's discussion and see what's happening out there so this is for the information set starting since 21st of March. So we're actually talking about a data set of six days for 15 minute candlesticks. We have been sort of away discovering that there is a triangle here in the Cardano's price. The triangle has a flat bottom. This flat bottom sits around 34, eight cents. 34 9 around that range that's where we had so much reaction going on which printed a buzzet a, a positive bullish reaction which is also tested during this very moment take a look at that guys it's very interesting that we have actually came slightly under the support line of the triangle the flat one but below that, as you can see, this line, we have a trending support line coming from a different time frame, which can be considered in this case scenario as an important data set where the market is actually reacting. So, in other words, you cannot lose that. And you should consider then what happened here towards the flat bottom support is a liquidity grabbing process with the intentions of a fake out that's to trap shorts over there or to take people out of their longs these are the necessities of the exchanges towards the market to be completed so 
That's what happens there. If we get a great reaction, we need to consider that we'll have to fight against the golden pocket of 36.2 and then another one at 37.4, two golden pockets, plus on top of that, the downtrending resistance line. Now, if we get back to this downtrending resistance line and BTC breaks out of the top, Cardano will fly to 40 cents. But we need BTC to move, guys. We need this very, very soon. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. We need Bitcoin to strongly move around the range. So we will establish a Monday low and a Monday high during this time. We'll see how does it look like. And the market right now is pretty much dictated by the actions of the Bitcoin. So you're not going to get Cardano out of that range for the moment. That's it, folks, for the moment. This is how it looks like. This is what we must consider for the current situation out there. Let's continue basically about a current set. And we have the news sector, which is most likely uh, talking about the strong uptrend Cardano has finally entered. Well, it has entered in a strong uptrend, but not from 15 minute candlestick standpoint, yet from two hours and four hours. And that's a different thing because it speaks about actions over the longer term period of time in the markets. So, uh, you know, we have a lot of uh, discussions around the Cardano's chain NFTs, including all sorts of upgrades and um, movements in the market as well as a comparison between the Ripple, Cardano and Solana. Well, if you look at the coin market cap and um, you want to discover some information, Ripple has moved very strongly. It gained quite a lot in the market cap and it's almost double than what Cardano is putting together. So that's something to heavily consider on the field. Now, at the same time, we have Solana, which is off the fence, it's quite far away and it's nothing serious at the moment. Although we have Polygon, which is a project that is heavily important for the field. So the fight is actually from my standpoint right now between Ripple, Cardano and Polygon, who takes the $30 billion market cap volume and so on back to Fifty billion attacking Binance coin, which is you know double than what XRP has, which is also double than what Cardano has. Quite interesting. However, for those of you interested to become traders, or if you're already trading but you would like to do it correctly based on data by having an approach towards your education that is looking to improve your results of your performance, make sure to check out ScrambleCoaching.com a page that is describing how does it work. If you want more information, you need to register now. You can also qualify for a free conversation with me of 15 minutes, where I'll teach you and take you by hand in terms of how does it work and what is all around coaching. It's between four to six weeks, an intensive approach one-on-one -on -one and live with me, where I'll take you by hand and share with you how do I trade and why do I trade um, in the way I do technicals, mentors, live trading, everything is included. Have a good time, folks. Subscribe. We have other videos out there as well. Talk to you soon.